We're going to get into a, a great discussion about the venture capital industry today, but you're the first person that I've had on that worked at Lehman heading into 2008. So we have to start there. Like what happened? Uh, so it was it was quite a unique role that I had. Um, I started my career in, in investment consulting at Citigroup and um, I moved up to New York in 2004 and and landed a role by by chance uh, in investment banking, but not in the traditional path that people take. Um, I was part of a small strategy team uh, that supported the head of banking, Skip McGee. Um, you know, talk about a great learning experience. Um, Skip took over. Uh, investment banking. He was a natural resources banker out of Houston, still lives there today. Um, took it over in 20, 2003 um, and led the firm through the bankruptcy and 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 as at Barclays as well. Um, learned a ton about strategy, um, you know, saw the rise and the fall of Lehman, which was, um, you know, Lehman wanted to be Goldman Sachs and be, you know, at the head of the league tables in, in M&A and Levfin and and so as a firm, it was, you know, how do you strategically position yourselves? How do you grow the business? Um, you know, stories for another time, yeah. <laughs> but, but you know, a lot of, um, you know, besides securitized products and things like that, that, you know, certainly helped uh, the financial crisis um, and Lehman's collapse. Um, you know, there were things that as a bank and as an investment bank that, um, you know, we're pushed down from a management firm, executive committee level um, in terms of, you know, trying to increase deal flow to, to get to the top of those league tables. And so, you know, a, a phenomenal learning experience. When you mentioned my anniversary, we were on our honeymoon when Lehman's <laughs> stock went from 16 to four and, you know, came back, uh, came back from my honeymoon and, and said, all right, might, might be time to uh, to start looking for a new role. So, um, but it was... Um, like I said, I learned a ton. Um, still to this to this day, um, a lot of the things that I learned at Lehman I can use kind of in a in a regular day to day setting, and, and just overall learning about business strategy and positioning yourself. And and more than anything, and this applies to venture capital too. Um, you know the mistakes that were made, you you can learn a ton from them. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of interesting. We're recording about you know venture and just the market in general at a time when things can change pretty quickly change doesn't happen. Like you're not given like a warning and then you have years to correct it. Like things can change pretty quickly. So, you know, when I saw that you worked at Lehman, I thought I got, I at least got to ask him. Um, I maybe one more question on it was did, did, was the writing on the wall or what did it catch a lot of folks by surprise? I, I believe it caught people by surprise. I mean, in hindsight, yeah. uh, I could go back to presentations and things that we did and like, and, and now say, Oh, why did we do that? Yeah. Um, you know, and we were putting together decks for the executive committee of banking. Those things, those decks were going to the firm's executive committee. Um, and things, you know, like an MA be MA deal being done and ensuring that staple financing occurred for every deal. And, you know, and then accordingly, how do you incentivize bankers? Because, you know, the MA banker is taking it, you know, from, you know, from start to finish and almost on the one, one yard line. And then you're supposed to call in your Lev Fin banker, you know, for that staple financing. But then how do you split revenue internally? Yeah. Um, and so then different things that were done internally to incentivize people. And and so in hindsight, it uh, yeah. it's it's very clear that, you know, things were done inappropriately or, or you know, helped top, topple it over. But at the time, it, it seemed rational. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. 